scary movie. But sometimes, that is better. I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of 13th and Elm. My name is Bill and I am your host for the episode. And as always, I am joined by my creepy cohorts, Michael and Rob. How's it going? What's up, Bill? I'm doing well, buddy. How you doing tonight? Good, good. I know we talked about this before and it's not really fair because I gave almost zero hints. But do you have any guesses for movie number one? Is this the 2010 one? This is the newer one, um, which was pretty much the only hint I gave that it was from the 2010s. No, I mean, you said that neither none of us have seen this? As far as I know, I'm 98% mm. sure on that. No, I really don't. No? Clueless. Anything I guess would be completely made up, but I will say I'm expecting uh, J-Horror. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> So that's a what game. else? <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's a totally um, Come on. <laughs> so it is. It is J horror. It is the 2017 Japanese horror comedy One Cut of the Dead. Awesome! I've been wanting to watch this. Yeah. Do you know of Never this heard one? Of this. What's this um, about? supposed to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. It is supposed to be uh, really good, and like it's been on my shutter list, which you you might have seen. Maybe you'll recognize the title or the cover, or whatever. Um, but this is one I've been wanting to watch for a while it has really good reviews everyone talks about how fun it is i see about it on reddit and shit all the time um to get to a quick synopsis um things go badly for a hack director and film crew shooting a low budget horror movie in an abandoned world war ii japanese facility when they're attacked by real zombies so it's about a cheap crew filming a zombie movies and they get attacked by real zombies um, so not ringing a bell. I I I've just never heard of it. I mean, no, it sounds it sounds good. No, though. I mean, no, that's fine. I mean, it's I'm I mean, it's supposed to be funny. I don't have a whole lot of background on it, um, because there's not a whole lot about it, and because I haven't seen it. And I tried to look at some reviews, and one of the things I kept seeing was you got to go in blind. Like it's best enjoyed if you don't know anything about it. So I guess you're in the best position there. <laughs> Um, but I kept seeing that, and I was just like, all right, fuck it. I'm not going to dig too deep. Too deep. <laughs> That's a car. Um, it is, it's written and directed by uh, Shinichiro Yuda. Yuda. It's probably wrong, but um, he's got a couple other credits, but not much, and nothing else I recognized. Checked out pretty much the entire cast, and it was the same thing. Um, but, I mean, that makes sense, because one of the fun facts about it is that um, it was shot in only eight days. It only cost $25,000 to make, and it has made over $25 million thus far. Um, I, I did hear that. It was an uh, incredibly modest budget, and it yeah. had, like exceeded its um, initial investment quite some. Yeah. yeah, very low budget, but making a lot of money, so it's got to be good. Um, and the first 37 minutes were all shot in one take. So I don't know what they had to. <laughs> I don't know what that scene is, but it did say for only taking eight days to film the whole movie. It sounds like this first part took most of it because okay. it took a long time and a bunch of shots. So I'm excited to see what that is. Long one shots are always cool. Um, it's got a 7.7 7 out of 10 on IMDb, um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got on it. Hmm. 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 Mikhail? 
Man, I've been wanting to watch this one myself for a while. It's also on my shutter list. Um, shout out Joe Bob. Joe Bob did a hosting of this, and I did not get to see that episode yet. So I'll probably, after doing this tonight, I'll watch the Just Joe Bob segments on it and right on. Uh, follow up on that. So I've been, this has been one that if we weren't going to watch it together, I was absolutely going to watch it at some point in the nearest future. So I'm cool. happy that Glad it's on the list. It. Yeah, right on. And you had no idea, I've, so you seem to be in a good position because I kept seeing going blind, going blind. So Totally ignorant. Yeah. As usual. That should yeah. be good. All righty. This movie is on Shudder, um, if anyone is interested in watching it. It's Shout under. out to Shudder. Shout out to Shudder. <laughs> Shout out to AMC, <laughs> parent company. All right, All right we're rolling down. You guys ready to jump in? Some, Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, one cut of the dead. Let's do it. Yeah. And we are back. We just watched the 2017 Japanese horror comedy, One Cut of the Dead initial reactions what do you guys got i did not like this movie me either <laughs> <laughs> i was i was pretty i was pretty let down i was let down you know i would say that the assessment or that was made earlier that going into this a hundred percent blind is the only way you're going to salvage any enjoyment out of this uh, hour and 40 minute pile of shit that we just watched. And the only one that went in completely blind, Rob, did not like it, so... Oh, I didn't that- say that, I didn't say that going in blind would make you like it. I said it Yeah, no, it, yeah. And it's to the, the only same thing degree, that could help. Yeah, to the same degree, I think I went in largely blind for the sake of what I'm talking about. And I honestly, if anybody is interested in watching this... I could see how some people, some audiences might really enjoy it, might even think it's genius. That's not me. Um, And so I won't, even in my review of it, I'm not going to ruin too much of it. I'm going to say, if you're interested in it, don't let my criticisms, of which there are many, distract or discourage you from giving it a shot. Um, But do try to go in blind. The last 30 minutes or so um, brought all the possible redemption this film could have for me other than that i was i i didn't laugh i wasn't um entertained by the gore it was neither a a comedy or horror in my opinion i didn't like this at all at any point for any reason this is one of the worst (laughs) films i've seen in a long time (laughs) (laughs) okay good cool I'm well, done. That's my review. That's, fucking that's, 10 out of 100. <laughs> Next. 10 out of 100. Sorry to fucking jump ahead, but I got nothing else on it. Go ahead, boys. Uh, no, let's hop in. Let's at, let's at least <laughs> let's run through it. Let's run through it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like this movie. Um, <laughs> pretty much from the beginning. Didn't Did not care for this film. Um, it's not it's not funny enough or smart enough about what it's doing to be really enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And I've not seen this exact movie before. Like, I've not seen this whole plot before in another film. But I've seen things like this where it's yeah. self-aware and it's not what it appears to be. And es- especially things that go back in on itself, like we'll get into about the, the plot or lack thereof. But um, you know what? This film would be fantastic. If it was your uh, buddy different. who is a film student or a film student or like a like uh, a graduate student, you know, doing yeah. film, and it would still be too long. But yeah, why why don't you lead us off with the great? I'd love to. <laughs> um, so we start out with seeing people filming a movie. I mean, um, yeah, the movie's being shot. It starts with. The girl being cornered by the guy and then the director coming in and yelling at her for not being a good actor, pretty much, for not being she, scared enough. She, yeah, her fear isn't real and he's basically like shouting at her and smacking the wall and like yeah, shaking her. which I did read was supposed to be um, talking about The Shining, about how Stanley Kubrick was really mean to he's a piece of shit. Shelley, yeah. so, which I didn't know, so... Oh, yeah. um, but I guess... I I guess guess that makes sense. So, and then, let's see. You kind of get the feeling. I mean, they're they're shooting. It's it's 
um, the zombie kid and the girl who's the main character. Uh, what what is her name? Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, the lead, and then the director in like the whatever Tommy Bahama shirt, and yeah. uh, and then. <laughs> Who is it? She's like a nurse. What is her character in the film they're making? Quit looking at me because I don't care. <laughs> the uh, Noah? the woman. Yeah. No. Noah. Now. 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 N-A-O. She yeah. was. I don't know what her character the in the artist? film that they no. were making was. Oh, well, she was the makeup artist. Yeah. She was the makeup artist. Okay, that's right. And uh, then they're killing time, and she's telling a story about the building. <laughs> Yeah, how it's like it was like a water Not filtration system, but it was used in World War Two for, for human, human experimentation by the army. Yeah, to bring the dead back to life. <laughs> Which, oh yeah, that's basically like saying it's like a Nazi like Pretty research much. lab. Like it's that's crazy. And then she shows off her awesome self defense moves. Palm. Palm. <laughs> Lots of uh, raising your arms up and sliding and down. And sliding out. <laughs> but the palm is important. Palm is very important. Um, and then we get our first zombie who comes up to the guy in the field. Yes. While he's smoking. smoking. Um, he gets puked on. He gets puked on a neck bit and he freaks out. And then there's his arm is thrown into the hallway of the building where everybody else is. Which didn't really make sense, but um, we get into it. And then he enters um, and everyone at first thinks that it's just that he's just acting. That's part of the film and mm-hmm. he falls into the lap of one of them. I'm sorry, I don't know any character's names, not a single one. Um, but he falls into one of their labs, and they're like, oh, like, how you, how'd you do this? Like, where'd the blood come from? And then they realize it's real, that he's dead. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And then he reanimates pretty um, quickly. And then wants his arm back. Like, he's, he wants that arm. They're playing hot potato with his arm, and then they, like, run it around and, like, throw it outside, and uh-huh. he chases out, and they lock him out. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's a bunch of back and forth where they're kind of running in and out and getting attacked. and Yeah, and the cameraman is yelling at everyone. It's like, keep rolling. This film's going to be great. It's going to be sick. The Hawaiian shirt director. Yeah. yeah. And then there's that guy just chilling in the background, <laughs> sitting down, and he just runs out, and you hear him screaming. We think he's killed off screen. Um, then we get a knock on the door, and the zombie gets thrown in and they're filming again and then the kid's head gets cut off um (laughs) and then they leave in the car um but they're stopped by the Tommy Bahama I think yeah who at this point to the viewer seems to be wrangling up the zombies and forcing them <laughs> to interact them. with the cast in order to get good scenes in the movie. Yeah. So he says, "Come on, monster, get that bitch!" Is you know trying to attack the woman in the car. Um, and then I wrote down funny zombie movements. So there was that I did laugh at. The oh, one the the like kung fu hand kind of thing, thrilling. thrillers, whatever he was doing. That was great. Um, it was also like pretty purple. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but again, like none. There were no. There were no any good kills at all through the whole film. No, there was not really Everything any was... gore. Which I mean, you find out there's really not there... any real gore. But even so, in the film sense, everything is kind of off screen, kind of like some blood splatters on some people. But that's pretty much it. Um, there was. We do see the bite mark. On the woman, on the girl, and then the woman <laughs> tries to kill her. The yeah, older, uh, now, the makeup artist yeah. now tries to kill her with a hatchet. Like immediately, she like turns around. She's like, "You're bit. Oh well, I've got to kill you now." She sees it. No redeeming things there. And so then, zombie, zombie actor boy who's not a zombie in her fight, and then he kills her. He like chop. Yes, like, he like he does. The axe in yeah, her head. right in her yeah. head. Right in her head, and then falls off the roof. Yes. Um. (laughs) 
This yeah. film is not worth a review. Um, <laughs> it's worth a review. We you watch it, you can review we it. We can crank it out quick. I'm just saying, it, you, we basically get to the the end scene, which is uh, as actor Zombie Boy has now become a zombie and is attacking the lead. Right. And she has the axe, and uh, he's a, he's like freezing or something. She like is able to like call out his name and like stop him, sort of. Yeah, um, she has some kind of control over him. And that goes on for a bit, and then essentially she chops his head off and mm-hmm. goes and stands in the middle of a five-pointed a star. And on the then, roof. Yeah, and then that, yeah, made of blood, and that's kind of it. And then roll credits. Roll credits. On the film within a film. The 37-minute uh, single take. take run. So that the is, one cut. That which is one of the few... I don't even know if redeemable is the right word, but it's relatively <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> relatively impressive that that whole 37 minutes was, was one shot. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, and... Relatively. You know, at least, you know, some of the criticisms that we had about it while we were watching it, like, this is bad, which it objectively was. Yes. They were at least acknowledged, and there were reasons for that later, um... Given those reasons, it didn't make it good. No. no. But um, it was never supposed to appear to be good. And for a film that was trying to be bad, they nailed that. Yeah. As far as the film within a film. To a T. Because we roll credits, and then we cut to one month prior. Mm-hmm. Um, ago. And so this... Um, <laughs> so then we see all the characters and actors and uh, directors, writers, makeup artists, and they're all basically planning this film that is going to... Yeah, we table read. Pitching the idea to the actors. Oh, yeah, the casting. The table read. There's like a... Wasn't one of the guys, like, he's like famous, he's like an... Is he an already an actor or like a pop star? Yes. Sure. Zombie boy? I don't know, actually. Well, I, they, I have no idea. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, he's well known. He's well known. They go. They do. They do the table read. They start like doing like exercise zombie exercises, basically, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, it's like a montage. And the whole time through this whole film, it's all like free use rock and roll music. Absolutely. That's all instrumental. Soundtrack was strange. Yeah. Oh, super public domain. Uh, the $25,000 that they spent making this film, none of it went towards obtaining any licensing rights or yeah. music. I don't know where it went. <laughs> they had to feed people and buy lights, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Sushi lights. is expensive. I guess everybody was eating top of the line, like made to order sushi the whole time for eight days, 30 people. <laughs> That's probably what it was. It was a scam probably. to get free sushi. There wasn't much else. To, and if you think of what this podcast is lagging and bad, you I recommend you watch the film. I recommend you don't watch the film <laughs> and you just turn off the podcast if you don't like it. But but also, <laughs> don't watch this film. Probably um, not. Um, we do get we get a little bit of background, um, as in there's that random part in the movie at the beginning where now is showing off her self-defense moves and we see her taking self-defense classes. Um, so then we like start to get an idea that that was improv, maybe didn't belong in the movie. And she's married to the director in yeah, the film. Yeah, she was not she's not an actor. No. She at was all. anymore. Um, she broke someone's arm and stopped acting. <laughs> That's what her, her, daughter, her daughter says. Um, and then we get back to the movie. Yeah. And it's kind of shot from a different... It's not third person. It's just a new perspective. So a the new ori- perspective. Yeah, the original 37-minute one take was a live broadcast on a television show. It was meant to appear to be... A real zombie, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It was supposed to be presented as something that was actually happening, like, candidly behind like the scenes. Like a live stream. Yeah, right. like a yeah. live stream of, like, a behind the scenes of this filming, but then it gets interrupted by actual zombies. And they have 
casted this and they pitched it and there are investors and the network execs or whatever and right. this is what they want. So this is for the first time where we learned that that's what was happening in the first 37 minutes. Right. Um, and now, so when we go back to the last 37 minutes of the movie, it's basically the first 37 minutes of the movie just from different perspectives and you get to see the behind the scenes stuff that um, led to some of the weirdnesses in the opening scene. And honestly, mm -hmm. this is where the movie, I won't even use the word shined, but this was <laughs> the best part of the film to me. Yeah. Um, and like you said earlier, Rob, still wasn't that creative. It wasn't in entirely original. It wasn't very smart. It wasn't well executed. And um, yeah, so. Uh, it's like a mockumentary. Mostly, it is a mockumentary. Mostly, yeah. 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 Um, and, and like, what some of the some of the explanations we got from the new perspective was um, the guy that was originally attacked by the first zombie, the, the puking first zombie. zombie, the puking zombie, ended up just being a very intoxicated <laughs> actor. He was stumbling around, Nature. and the director was kind of. Manipulating Puppeteering him. Working him, like, him like, like a puppet, exactly. Like a Weekend at Bernie situation. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and it was actually vomit. It wasn't like a stage prop. Like, he puked on that guy because he was could he hardly was, stand. Yeah. He drank, like, wasted. five liters of sake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the arm coming through the door that we mentioned earlier was simply because the guy who got puked on and his arm chomped off, like, ran away to clean up his face off camera. And mm -hmm. the, you know, set hands just chucked the yeah, arm yeah. through the door. Um, so yeah, you get you get you get little explanations for everything basically awkward that's happening in the film. Um, after that, what what they uh, um, <clears throat> are trying to get like the axe attached to her head when when yeah. that, when the so makeup they, artist gets hit. Yeah, so they put like a headband around her and attach the axe. Well, to there's her like a lot of she's like screaming. Make it but, look like. Yeah. The, the lead is like screaming, like holding onto a bar, and they're like, yeah, and had to do it for a weirdly like, long going, time because they're trying to. And yeah, they're holding up, they're holding up like else. cue cards. Well, things to this, yeah, they're just not going according to plan. Like because the actors are drunk, people are getting actually like sick, um, and yeah. things of that nature. So, uh, and, but they're live. It's a thirty-seven yeah. minute one take live broadcast. That's the whole gimmick that they were going for at the network. It's yeah. what they wanted. So when things start going off script um the cast is obviously confused which kind of is the explanation to why some of the acting was so bad but honestly the acting was bad yeah um and there were long awkward pauses that seemed out of place in the opening scenes of the movie but they were because as we learned from the other perspectives in the last act of the film things were happening off camera that were not supposed to be happening so the set hands are fashioning cue cards really quick off screen and like there are several moments in the opening 37 minutes where you see all of the actors like looking at something and clearly like they're preoccupied with something off camera we come to learn they're reading cue cards so they know how to improvise and go along with um, you know the on the fly changes that are being made um like i said i could see how a certain audience right here would be falling in love with the movie and seeing it as genius and uh, just pumping up the air and the tires on this film. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't me. And even more unfortunately for this review and this podcast, it wasn't any of the three of us. I mean, um, I know we're skimming over a lot of it. And we don't have a lot of positive things to say. And, um, this also, like, it would be difficult to talk more in depth a lot about for a lot of it, even if one of us did really enjoy it. I feel like, I mean, there wasn't, it didn't give us a whole lot to talk about. No, I mean, essentially, it's Either a 37-minute movie from multiple perspectives. There's not a lot to it. And, um, you know, if it's on your radar and you're still interested in it, I would suggest you choose what to do with your own time. <laughs> but I would have a really hard time recommending this to anybody. Um, it was, honestly, from about 20 minutes in, I was waiting for the film to end. And it's similar to what we had talked about in one of our previous episodes with Fright Night. I'd mm -hmm. made up my mind that I hated this movie early on, so anything that could have been considered redeemable or could have been like even 
halfway smart or fun had lost all of its charm on me before it even presented itself. I did not enjoy any of this. Mm. Fair. No, I'm I'm not going to argue against that. <laughs> I it's funny when the movie when the 37 minute film ended and it started going into the making of montage. Mm-hmm. I actually started to like the movie a little bit more. Like, I, I don't like the movie, but that bumped it up a little bit more because okay. I just didn't care for it. Um, a lot of what it does is, just because it's self-aware doesn't mean it's smart or good or funny. Believe right. me, take it from me. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, this film, it, what it's doing is, I don't know, um, ambitious. And like I said, if it was like a, if it was somebody you knew making this film, you'd be really impressed, and it would still be too long of a film. Right. Mm-hmm. But, Agreed. But I don't know. I I don't feel like this is a redeeming enough or unique enough, or there's not enough good kills or good acting for this to be worth checking out. It's yeah, that's pretty much what I was gonna say. Is a movie like this needs to have in one of the categories like it needs either really good kills and gore it needs like really good acting or like a big like smart twist or something and it did not have any of or that. just to deliver like fun one line quotable comedy and it did none of that for me yeah and i just honestly also under our predispositions and our expectations on this podcast this film was destined to not be a hit um, and not do not misunderstand what I'm saying I will double down again this is not a good film and I did not enjoy it but this film it's viewing might be best suited for like a film class or something like that mm-hmm. not because it's a quality film but because it kind of it was case study <laughs> but this it kinda, is what a bad movie's like it kind of <laughs> gives like some perspective on like what you could do and this is like a student situation yeah, this no, is not yeah, like a, a, this is a teaching professional situation. seminar yeah. that you would pay for yeah. but I mean um, you know for us we were looking for a horror comedy and like I said earlier it was neither um Man, I've talked about this movie more than I care to, really. Yeah. It was... Imagine watching a movie about the making of a soap opera just like this. You <laughs> still end up having to watch half of a soap opera, like, even though it's self-aware and, like, making fun of itself. It's like, you're still watching fucking garbage. Yeah. So. I would like to actually watch a documentary <laughs> on how this movie was made. Oh, would <laughs> that would be, with that, like, with that, yeah. like, an actual documentary. Like, Inception. I want the, well, the third perspective from... You tell me how it goes if you find it. Well, luckily, I'll be hosting next week. <laughs> uh, can we just rate this and be done with it? I yeah. rated it as soon as I started. 10 out of 100. It was hot garbage. <sighs> Um, I, I don't know, two, maybe a three. A fucking three. No, a I think... A fucking I think, three. I think this is probably a two, because, like, a one is, a, like, amusement park. Like, that was just... This, honestly, so was that to me. Yeah. This... It was pretty close. I think I definitely would rather watch this again in amusement park but not <laughs> so by long. far it's longer where does it's this almost twice as long where does this go against uh like fried berry <coughs> which is another film that two of us really hated that's uh, not that bad i'd rather watch this than fried berry really mm-hmm. i think i would wow. oh man fried berry was like a four you out of a like... hundred Fade in and out of it, man. This is know. this to me. I'd give this. You have to read subtitles to watch this. Which and even when you, I'll give this for, a twenty-three <laughs> for not English. Even speakers. when you've watched the ha- first half of this movie, you've watched the whole movie, and you still yeah, have you to have sit to through another game. half of it. And you it. know kind of where it's going, even though you don't. So yeah. I don't know. I I'm, know. man, this was this like I a, said, one of the worst movies I've seen a in week, a while. This is a week two. Yeah. Twenty-three out of a hundred. From me, yeah. uh, I'm sticking with my ten. It's ten. lucky to hit double digits. I'm fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> but yeah. I'm glad I watched you. Final? Just two. Two. Yeah. Just two. two out of ten. Why not? There you have it. The <laughs> might be the shortest episode of Thirteenth and Elm that will ever exist. <laughs> we might not post this one. No. <laughs> we might not. Oh no! We might not. We we will... Files corrupted. We... Oh no! <laughs> 
I wish they would have corrupted the file of the fucking film. Like, if oh, they would have, one cut okay. of the dead would have been an empty canister. Like, oh no, we <laughs> made a mistake. They did like their scripts, their printed scripts. Uh, that was a good, that was a redeeming Highlight quality. of the movie for me, singular best part of the movie, the, like, the makeup artist and the director of the movie, mm-hmm. they have a daughter who plays a pretty big behind the scenes role, I forget her uh, name. Yeah. Her t-shirts were great. She had a lot of, yep. like, Scarface, classic 80s. Black and Scarface, white. Taxi Driver. Shining. 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 She was wearing a lot of big graphic tees of yeah, like classic cool. American cinema, and mm-hmm. they were cool. You know, you yeah. know, you had uh, Tony Montana, you had Travis Bickle, mm-hmm. you had uh, why am I forgetting my one of my favorite characters' names? Jack Torrance. Jack Torrance. They were all like big, black huge and white. graphic mm-hmm. black yeah. and white, um, like superimposed photos of their faces and stuff. It was super cool. That is the good highlight. Little, good little Easter egg there. That's the highlight. Yeah. Some the character shirt. <laughs> yeah. Elmer's a lot of people have seen this if you saw it and you liked it t- <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong <laughs> tell, us, tell us in the comments how fucking stupid you are you know they say never insult your audience but um, they're so, if you like this you wouldn't even know that we're making fun of you <laughs> <laughs> oh man you- <laughs> alright yeah I think we wrap it up Yep. thanks for listening Thanks for if you did us watch this bill <laughs> yeah you're bill, welcome we, we appreciated this one that was good no problem I am the police